Can you go into more detail about uh, the metadata and what you can do with it and what your plans are for the use of it? Uh, you're talking about the research data or the metadata? Let's start with the metadata. Okay. So metadata is really detail about each individual show. So whether that's a television show or that's a, an album or a song or whatever, we literally have people creating uh, descriptions of individual shows that sit down in their cubicles and they write down who the actors are in each show, who the musicians are, what the name of the songs are. So if I go on Pandora and I pull up, you know, a, a song comes up, detail under that is the metadata that we provide. Uh, or if I'm in the guide and I click on a television show and it gives me a description of the show, that's our metadata that's feeding that guide. So Jeff, can you talk a little bit about the set-top box data portion of Rovi's business? Sure. So today we have, as I mentioned, a couple of different businesses. We've got our web business. We have a number of websites that we advertise, we bring advertisers to. We've got our service provider footprint and then we've got our CE footprint. On the service provider side, today we have about 100,000 set-top boxes that are kicking off data in real time. So we are a very accountable platform, and that's what advertisers like. So uh, within our footprint, by the end of the year, we'll have 250,000 plus set-top boxes that are giving us data, which will be a representative footprint of our entire uh, sample. Uh, so you know we've got real-time data, and what we find from that is that people go to the guide frequently, and you know 87% of households go to the guide on a weekly basis. And when they go there, they spend a lot of time. They go there 13 times a day, and they spend up to nine minutes a day on the guide. So we see that data in real time, and that stays relatively consistent even as the set-top box usage grows. So the good news is, as content becomes more proliferated, that people need some kind of search and discovery mechanism, whether it's on the service provider side or on the CE side. And we are right at the heart of that. What, 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 is, what is your total universe? Well, we have uh, a Comcast footprint. We have our footprint. Um, we have uh, upwards of 16 million homes that we can do the guide in. Comcast has their footprint as well, which uses our guide technology and our data. Um, so the interactive footprint is about 30 million in terms of um, you know, the guide advertising capabilities in the U.S. So Rovi essentially has 16 million set-top boxes. Yeah, a little north of 16 million that we have set-top box data that we get from a sample of that on a regular basis. So of our 16 plus million homes, we today get about 100,000 set-top boxes that are distributed throughout that footprint. By the end of the year, we'll have 260,000 set-top boxes throughout our footprint. What about the issue of privacy in all of this? So for us, we don't do any individual targeting. We don't, do, uh, we don't ask for information. We don't ask for data. We really use IP addresses in scale. We use uh, general logic applied from uh, qualitative information to make assumptions about what people are watching. Um, so we don't have the issue of privacy that, you know, if someone's cookieing where they're trafficking to and from, or if they're asking for individual data and they're sharing that with other people, that's not what we do. The addressability that we're talking about is really based on the selections that they're using based on genre-based. So it's not about the individual necessarily, it's really more about categorical.